From our studio in Weed, California, this is Inside Siskiyou. Real news, real people, real close. With anchor Shireen Strauss, Sheriff Jeremiah LaRue, and Siskiyou Reviews with Becca Raul. Hello, Siskiyou County. I'm Shireen Strauss, and this is your news for April 2nd, 2021. Up first, news from Dunsmere. The Dunsmere Water Main Replacement Project has begun and will increase traffic control on eight different streets around town. They are planning this to be a minimally evasive, but it will affect street parking. Also, Dunsmere Recreation and Parks District is having a special board meeting to discuss the possibility of opening the Dunsmere Pool for the 2021 season. The meeting is at 5 p.m. on April 8th at the Dunsmere Community Building. The Dunsmere Community Resource Center has just announced that their Garden Connection gardening program for families is starting up again in June. The weekly program will run during the summer morning growing season starting June 14th. The dates and times will be on Mondays from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. It's a great way for the family to bond, gain social connections, and learn about gardening and growing your own food. For more information, call the Dunsmere Community Resource Center at 530-235-4400. News from McLeod. Good news, the McLeod Chamber of Commerce is going ahead with the planning of the Mushroom Festival in May and the annual flea market on the first weekend of June. They are also planning on having a farmer's market two times a month starting in May through October. Also, the McLeod Hotel is currently closed while it gets a new roof. The building, which is over 100 years old, was last renovated in the early 90s. A new store, Rustic Blue 2, is opening in McLeod at the River Inn Bed and Breakfast at 30, uh, 325 Lawndale Court. Jenny Shirley, who had the original Rustic Blue consignment store that closed in 2019, is collaborating with her two sisters to open the new store in early May. Rustic Blue 2 is a non-consignment store, but will carry handcrafted items, gifts, and McLeod souvenirs. News from Mount Shasta. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and every family and community resource center has free books and activity kits for children aged zero to five. Call or drop in to your local resource center to pick up one, of your, one for your child. You may also reserve the playroom for a single family playtime. For more information and to schedule a playroom session, please call the Mount Shasta Community Resource Center at 530-926-1400. The Mount Shasta City Planning Commission is proposing to change the zoning of the land use in the general plan to urbanize Mount Shasta with multiplex housing. The public comment related to this current planning project is encouraged. To see the draft, of the plan, go to their website page. The Planning Commission meets on April 20th and then will be presented to the City Council. Submit comments to City Hall at 305 North Mount Shasta Boulevard. <music> News from Weed. The Family and Community Resource Center of Weed offers free monthly high cap counseling for Medicare and prescription drug plans for seniors. Volunteers are fully trained to help navigate the different programs and save seniors money. To schedule an appointment, please call the Family and Community Resource Center of Weed at 530-938-9914. 
College of the Siskiyous will host a two-day virtual cannabis studies conference scheduled for April 17th and 18th. During the conference, Participants will complete four cannabis studies community education courses taught by experts in the field. The cost to participate and complete the courses is $50 or $15 per class. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity to get hemp educated. For more information regarding the conference, contact Susan Clark by email or call 530-841 5834. <clears throat> to register online for the conference, visit collegeofthesiskews.coursestorm.com. There's a spring craft sale on April 10th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Sunset Grill Banquet Room in Lake Shastina. Local crafters and artisans will feature their goods, including fiber and metal art, jewelry, leather, photography, cards, quilts, one of a kind gifts, and music. For more information, call 530-598-2103. News from Wairika. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. Stop by your local resource center to pick up a blue ribbon to wear and show support for children and families. Every resource center will have valuable information regarding child abuse prevention and awareness. The Wairika Community Resource Center will distribute USDA commodities on April 8th from 1 to 3 p.m. Located at 203 South Broadway in Wairika, everyone is welcome. Stop by to receive supplies and stock your pantry. The commodities consist of pasta, rice, beans, fresh, canned, and frozen foods. Proof of income is not requ a requirement. Participants can self-certify. For more information, contact the Wairika Community Resource Center at 530-842-1313. News from Aetna. Hugh Kirkland got a visit from the Aetna police last Thursday, March 25th. It wasn't that he did anything illegal. Officers Clint Witchchurch and Brandon Buell just wanted to wish Kirkland a very happy 100th birthday. Happy birthday, Hugh. <music> News from Happy Camp. Struggling with your RV trailer? Register for a free RV trailer repair class taught by certified RV technician Randy Gibbons on Saturday, April 10th from 12.30 to 3 p.m. at the community center. This class will be the third and final class offered for the Slater fire victims. Due to COVID, the class is limited to eight participants. Please call 530-493-5117 to register. Hello, Siskiyou County. I'm Sheriff Jeremiah LaRue, and this is your weekly Sheriff's Report. Today, April 2nd, is World Autism Awareness Day. On this day, members of the United Nations all help to raise global awareness about Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD. Autism is a complex developmental disorder that typically appears during early childhood and can impact a person's ability with social interaction, sensory processing, and communication. California law enforcement officers have a working knowledge of autism and the wide variety of behaviors that people with autism can exhibit in emergency situations. Part of our ongoing training involves keeping up on contemporary issues and learning about various disabilities and disorders like autism. While officers are trained to respond to a variety of calls for service, we are mindful that every call is just as unique as the people we interact with in the field. Autism spectrum disorder is exactly that, a spectrum like a rainbow. It is often said that if you know one person with autism, you know one person with autism. Each individual varies greatly and no two are exactly alike. And as officers, we are trained to take that into account when interacting with all people. 
So in celebration of World Autism Day, April 2nd, and Autism Awareness Month, April, I encourage you to learn more about ASD. You can visit autism-society.org. And remember, it takes all walks of life to make the world a joyful place to live. I hope you have a good rest of your week and weekend, and we'll see you next week. My name is Audie Carlisle, and I'm excited to present a new web series highlighting and celebrating the humanity, humor, magic, and fortitude of the locals in Siskiyou County. It's called Shasta Stories. To watch the full episodes, visit Siskiyou Media Council's website and enjoy this 30-second trailer for our first episode featuring Rich Edwards, an artist painting in Mount Shasta since the 1980s. Typical of my stuff, see how it's covered in paint? I, I can't help it. My dad did the same stuff. He was extremely good at it, and he never got a spot of paint on either his shoes, pants, jacket, hands, nothing. Me, everything I own was paint on. 